Hey Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we're back again at the 2023 Derby City Classic. Playing some nine ball today. We have Alex the Lion, Peg Lion versus Max Eberly. This is round nine action. Neither player has a loss. It's Alex on the left, Max on the, the right. That's nice when they stand by their names. I like it when they do that. I am being joined by the one, the only, Mark White. How you doing, Mark? Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure, as always, to be invited. And very interestingly there, I've never seen players lag from this end before. They normally lag from the other end. Hmm. Well, the balls are at this end, so that just seems to be the easiest way to do it, I guess. Yeah, why waste mileage on your shoes? <laughs> Big, big, big difference in Fargo rates. Alex Paggy Lyon, 812. Max Eberle, 761. Now you see the percentage chance of winning. So to describe all the rules, the very, very strange and unique rules. <laughs> go on, Kevin. Tell us what they're going to do. Uh, yeah, we're playing uh, yeah, so we're playing some nine ball here at Derby City. So we are racking with the nine ball on the spot, not the one ball. The nine ball goes on the spot. The uh, one ball goes in the front, nine in the middle. The rest of the balls are at random, except for the two ball. The two ball may not be racked at the back of the rack. Must be racked somewhere else. Um... We are breaking from the break box, which is the area between the first and third diamonds uh, at that other end of the table. We are not allowing the use of jump cues. You're still allowed to jump the ball, but you must use your full playing cue. You may not even use your break cue. You must use your playing cue. It is rack your own. The Accu rack template rack is mandatory. Uh, we're playing winner's option. The break. The break is winner's option. Most people will opt to break. They're not usually going to opt to let their opponent break, but it has happened. And three foul rule is in effect. And there are probably a couple other little quirks to the rules at Derby City, but we'll uh, go into those if they come up. Yeah, nice little billiard played by Alex to start off. Made the three ball in the corner. Lost the two ball though, unfortunately. Going to play Ralph first here. Very knowledgeable player though, Alex Peggy Lyon. Fantastic to watch. Yeah, I wish we could get him for uh, Team America from Moscone Cup. All right, brings Max Eberle to the table. Speaking of Moscone Cup, he has played for Team America. Uh, in the past. Max Eberly has. Pretty sure, unless I'm remembering it wrong. Wow. I never knew that. Interesting character, Max. Spent a lot of time with Mr. Eberly at some events. He does enjoy a glass of red wine every now and then. He's just not a big fan of buying it, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a fortune in Vegas. Good lad, though. I believe Max actually lives in Mexico now. Oh, I didn't know that. So I was just looking up a bit about Max Eberle, and it says he played with the Moscone Cup team in the Dream Challenge in Moscow. So maybe he didn't actually play on the Moscone Cup proper. Now then, is there a gap through to this two ball? Yeah, it looks like he's left a pretty good shot on this two ball to the side for Alex. I was in Vegas earlier on for the the big expo there at the Rio. And I was flying to where I am now in Thailand from 
Las Vegas Airport, and I was in the queue. And who was behind me? Alex Paggy Lyon. And we had a little chat, went our separate ways, and then I go and sit on the plane. And then about 20 minutes later, Alex Paggy Lyon comes up and says, That's my seat. He sat right next to me. <laughs> And then he pretended to be asleep for the whole flight. <laughs> like, great, and that Mark White, he's uh, following me around now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, great, great guy. Very well liked on the circuit. You can see his clothing that he's wearing and his cap. He's just launched his own line of apparel. Lion. Originally from the Philippines, moved to Canada when he was 13 years old. <coughs> but the Philippines would like him back. They want some of that pool talent back. Yeah, he may be the smallest player on the circuit but he's certainly got the biggest personality always great fun to have around the venues my teacher used to say to me at school the smallest vessels make the most noise and that's certainly <laughs> the case with Alex Alex takes the first game yeah it was, uh, it was pretty fun watching him in uh, Vegas at one of the uh, events there when he was pretending to be a referee and they were just all having a great time they're playing a, a pro-am event and everyone was just having a great time and alex was definitely uh a big instigator in that great character paul needs characters So if you guys have been enjoying our coverage of the 2023 Derby City Classic, uh, we would appreciate if you'd go ahead and just give us a thumbs up. And if you are so inclined, a subscribe would be nice as well. If you do subscribe, make sure you ring that bell so you get notified of all of our upcoming Derby City Classic matches we're going to be uploading, as well as all the other cool stuff we do. <laughs> just talking about... Alex's uh, stature, shall we say, his size. Mm -hmm. I just googled. I just googled Alex Pagulain, and the top option that Google came up with was Alex Pagulain height. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people are obviously googling his height, and just to save you googling, he's five foot three. He's tiny, isn't he? But he has a tremendous reach across the table for someone who's so small. All right, where'd Alex go? Is he signing autographs for the fans? Probably selling T-shirts. He's nipped across <laughs> to his booth, I reckon. Forty-four years old. World Nine Ball Champion, two thousand and four. And who do you think gave him his nickname? That's a very interesting little stat, a little fact that I just found. Um, Rick Jones from Bad Boys. No. 
Oh, then I don't the know. 19, the 1980 <laughs> world snooker champion and fellow Canadian Cliff Thorburn. Oh, I would not have guessed that. First guy, <laughs> no. First guy who ever gave, sorry, the first guy that ever to make the first 147 at the Crucible. Cliff Thorburn, there you go. He gave Alex his nickname. Nice wide open layout here. Now it's sitting good to take a 2 nothing lead. Always enjoy watching Alex play. Fidgety little character. Reminds me a lot of Alex Higgins. He's yeah. a good player from the 80s. Very fidgety. Short little action. A little bit stabby. But very effective. You don't become world champion if you don't know how to play this game, that's for sure. Yep, absolutely. See the extension going on the queue. Surprised he just doesn't leave it on there all the time. This is a bit of a stretch again. Perfectly played. Break and run there by Alex. Two nothing. Race to nine. Yeah, Alex actually plays out of Jim White's room when he's at home in Toronto. Corner Bank, Jim White, who I have the pleasure of commentating with during the Pro Billiard Series events. Jim, a great snooker player, quarter finalists in 1981, I believe it was. Alex Peggy Lyon himself, a very good snooker player, has made several hundred breaks. Breaking off here. 2-0 ahead, race to nine. Hmm, I wonder if we can get Jim White to join us for some uh, commentaries one day. I'm That'd sure we could. That yeah. would be fun. Especially since I mailed him a headset. I was going to say, he's got the equipment waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see if we can make that happen. Yeah, we should. I'll have a word with him later today. Oh, that'd be great. I know, I know our fans would love it. Get him in for one of the big matches. Yeah, get him in for one of the big matches. Maybe getting him on, on a Shane match or a Fedor match. Or, or even, even an, an Alex Peggy Lyon match. Or even or an, an Efren match. match. Yes. Why not? I know our fans would love it, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. 
nicely on this four ball. Stun off the side rail, centre table for the five into the top left. Six ball begging to be potted into the side pocket. It's come up a little short. It might come round two rows between his six and eight. Alex always comes up a little short. <laughs> nicely judged that Filipino brain that he was born with <laughs> has that built in sat nav which all Filipino players seem to have knowing their way around the table so well knowing all the angles really is a trait of Filipino players I know he's Canadian national now but and even with that you know that little short compact stroke he has you know to a casual observer he may not be be very impressive until until you actually watch him for a while <laughs> and you watch him he's just run ball after ball after ball rack after rack <laughs> yeah this is another one all right break and run two in a row see if he can keep it going yeah i mean max has done nothing wrong he lost the leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, Max did come to the table that first game, but uh, I don't remember. Don't remember what happened, but Alex ran out and then broke and ran the next two. So. See if he can keep it going. Using the looped bridge. I remember what happened first game. Uh, Alex tried to play a 2-3 billiard in the corner. He made the billiard but lost the two ball. Then there was a little bit of a back and forth safety which Alex came out on top and then Alex ran out from there in the, in the first game. Yeah. All right, this break a little clustery. Max is actually a a publisher as well. He's written a book on Paul back in 2007. Zoom Zen Paul, Awaken the Master Within. I like the title. A very good title, isn't it? Well, that's an interesting push mm -hmm. because okay right. you know when you're when you're allowed to jump with a jump queue this might be a jumpable option but of course with a full playing queue it's not so alex not even bother wasn't bothered of coming back to the table 
He says, yeah, you can have that one, Max. It's like Max was pushing out to a jump shot and then remembered, oh, wait a minute, that's right, we can't use our jump cues here. <laughs> So, plan B, kick him safe. Well, not at that speed, you're not. Yeah, it might have been a bit of frustration in that shot there. He's let Alex see the ball, but hasn't left a straight on shot. Straight back with the bank? Or is he going to play safe? Probably going to play safe, but this is Alex. He's pretty confident with the bank shots. Those, when you have that many balls to hide behind, it's just too tempting to play safe. not getting many opportunities at the moment. Well, it was looking like it was going to be a pretty nice shot, and then the one ball just kept coming down here, and unfortunately this looks like it's lined up this 1-9 combination pretty nice for Alex if he wants to try have a go at it. Yeah, Max seemed to hit that kick shot very hard again pretty much the same as he hit the previous one didn't he For the first time, Max coming to the table. He's hooked again. And this is a tough one to hit. I think he can go one rail, can he? Maybe. He might be able to go one rail. At first, I didn't think that was available, but the more I look at it, I think maybe he can with some left spin. Yeah, slightly awkward to get some left spin because of that eight ball. If he hits this soft, he could get a safe behind the nine. Or could be unlucky. Leave it straight in. So pretty tough start for Max at the moment. Didn't quite get that cue ball where he wanted it. He's 
Got a little bit of a tester here. Yeah, perfect view of the queuing action of Alex. So, first real chance then for Max Eberly. Finished just the wrong side of the three ball, though. Going with a high ball, interesting. I thought he was going to uh, draw back a little, but this is probably gives him a better path to the five ball, I guess, even though the cut on the four is maybe not as easy. Yeah, a little bit awkward, this one. Natural path, though, to the five ball. Perfect. Nicely done. Max Perfectly. doesn't travel to Go ahead I was, I was just going to say Max not a a big traveller doesn't really travel to many international events but you'll often see him a lot of the American events travelling around does a lot of coaching as well Super nice guy. Oh, get up He's there, Cuba. Very calming. Yeah, he hasn't gone far enough, Kevin, has he? It's a little bit careless. I did lots of inside english right hand spin i mean in about two o'clock on the cue ball yeah that was a nice shot on the eight back in line should be able to handle this nine ball with ease and it goes on the scoreboard three to one race to nine So we're going to get to see Max's break for the first time. Winner break format or winner's option, I should say, to be perfectly accurate. I believe you said once a player did give the break back. And who was it? It has happened, and it was right here on our channel. You can go watch the match yourself if you don't believe me. Uh, it was Corey Duell versus Joshua Filler. Corey passed the break to Joshua, which uh, is hard to believe in itself. Like, why would you ever let Joshua Filler break? Especially since Joshua was, Joshua was breaking well that match. Well, and of course, you know what happens. Joshua, of course, he's going to make the nine on the break if you pass him the break, which if, that's what happened, of course. And after that, Corey didn't pass him the break anymore. Yeah, Josh Philip just yesterday won his fifth Euro Tour title in Austria. Beating Daniel Massial in the final from Poland. And let me tell you, to win one Euro Tour is a fantastic achievement. To win five... Is very, very difficult. 
56 <laughs> players, I believe, was the field. They're always packed with lots of talent from around Europe. Overachiever. That's just showing off now. And Veronica Ivanovskaya from Germany also won the ladies' event, beating Bajana Sarac in the final. Congratulations to Veronica. Works very, very hard at her game. Huh. Max lending a helping hand there to his opponent. Very gentlemanly. And he's left Not himself a little, little bit of angle, so he's not straight in. Should be able to run the cube around two rails, a bit of high left. Read into this bottom left hand corner. You say it, he does it. Yeah, and if he is a bit straight on this, he can just draw back and leave the four ball to the top right. He's looking good for 4 1 here, Alex. Yeah, it does look like he's landed pretty straight on this. Now looks perfect. He has just uh, just the right amount of angle to come out for the six. Nicely done. Yeah, a little bit short. Might. Go round three rows here. How's his oh, speed? Perfect. Pretty good, huh? It's okay. It'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Nice angle here. And play it with a little bit of inside and come straight back down or play a little bit of outside. Use a side rail, come towards the nine ball. Most players prefer the outside spin rather than the inside. Alex seems to be no exception. Yeah, beautifully played. He's run these balls very nicely. Wasn't straightforward. But he got there in the end. 4 1, race to nine. So, a question for you, Mr. Yes. Ross. Yes, Mark. Let's just suppose for a moment that you can choose any player from any country residing in the United States, let's say for longer than, I don't know, five years or something, let's say. And you can choose Canadians as well. Who would be your Moscone Cup team? Well, I was about to start with Feder Gorst until you put that five-year uh, requirement on there. 
Yeah, I did that for a reason. <laughs> no, okay. Let's uh-huh. let's say anyone with uh, let's say anyone with with residency in the United States. Let's not put a time limit on it. All right. Well, I'm I'm definitely claiming uh, Jason Shaw for our side. I, I'm I'm grabbing him before so, you do. So Jason Fedor, uh, Skyler. I think we still got to keep Shane, even though his uh, Moscone Cup record may not be a hundred percent. I still, I st- still got to, uh, still got to give Shane a chance. So um, Shane and Billy, Shane, Billy, and, Sky, Fedor, Jason. Sounds like a pretty good team to me. So. Since we grabbed, uh, you know, Fetter and Jason, and uh, who who are you grabbing for uh, the European team? What from the America? Uh, well, since we're saying uh, any, uh, you said in any country, right? Yeah. No one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, since you said in any country, I probably should have included Joshua Filler in there. Whoops. No, 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 no. He's got to reside. He's got to reside in the States. You can't just oh, pick you anyone say, you want. Oh, you did say reside. Okay. Yes, I did say reside. You must have a sit. You must have a citizenship in in the in America. Come on, don't push it. I'm starting to sound like a pool player. I just want everything for nothing. <laughs> So back to the game then. Alex, with a look at this three ball. Huge amount of Q overhang there. Really nicely played. Okay, he's got another stretch here. I think he'll need the bridge this time. Unless he can reach over the side of the table. No, I think I might be a little far for that. All right, how are you getting to the five? Is he going to come short side of the five? Well, he could come all the way round. Four rails round the back of the five and leave the five into this bottom left. Ooh, is it going to get there? Is it going to get out? Is it going to get out there? Yeah, he's perfect, isn't he? I think he just got there. always surprises me how players play the simple game a lot of the time oh oh, oh wow oh, max racing to the table there <laughs> yeah that's one of those angles where you would be hard pressed to shoot the cue ball in with your cue stick at that angle, but it always seems to find its way in. Here, Ken Schumann in the background announcing a match over on. Uh, the main AccuStats table. Yeah, I like Ken Schumann. That's the guy with the ponytail, isn't it? A That's legend him. of the Derby City Classic. I actually had a little chat with him at the Derby City a couple of years ago and complimented him on his introductions. I really do like the way he introduces the players and the matches. So do I. Very professional. It's one of the few people that actually mentions player sponsors, which we are very appreciative of. Oh, speaking of sponsors, <laughs> he just mentioned sponsors. Right on cue. I'm not sure who he just introduced, but they got a huge round of applause. Who was it, Kevin? <laughs> uh, it was our friend, of course. Ah. 
All right, Max Eberle closing up that gap. Trails by two, four to two, race to nine. This is round nine, action. Alex Pagli and Max Eberle, neither player has a loss. I am Kevin Ross, being joined by Mark White. It's quite a feat, isn't it, to go nine rounds undefeated in this huge field. Very talented field as well. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get, uh, um, you know, easy opponents nine times in a row. So you got to be uh, playing pretty good to go nine rounds undefeated. see how these balls break one in the side my two balls on the break actually and he do a little masse here or is he going rail first what's he doing it looks like he's going rail first at it he's got to be careful of the scratch here he's not going to come underneath it he's going to try and clip this in i think tough shot it's quite far away from the pocket that two ball Not a right hand spin. Good shot. Was that wasn't easy. No, that uh was nicely done. He did hit it a little bit firmer than I was expecting, but he's come away with a shot. This is suboptimal. Tough cut on the four and queuing over this ball, over two balls. This is definitely not where you want to be. This is tough. Yeah, this is horrible. Nice Don't shot, and they got a got a good result. <coughs> yeah, nice friendly little nudge, as you say. Draw back to the side rail. Another draw shot. Play the eight into the same pocket. I actually played Max Eberly in that room oh, two really? years ago. Yeah, we had a there was a little bit of downtime and we played a race to nine. He beat me 9-2. That's so nice of you to let him win. Don't want to bruise oh, he his scratched, ego. He, he scratched twice on the nine as well. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> A little crisp on that last shot. I'd look for him to make this, though. Just step in on the line. Keep the head still. 
Stroke it in. Cue ball going nowhere near a corner pocket, so he's fine. Puts it away. 4-3. Race to nine. Speaking of stroke, his delivery of the cue is a little unusual in that he has a very quick back and forth on his final swing. Yeah, another thing I noticed, his bridge hand, he uses the, the loop bridge often, and it's a very high looped bridge. And I'm just thinking that must be in his eye line. I mean, it doesn't get right down on the cue, I've noticed, so maybe that... You know, alleviates the 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 finger getting in the way of the line, but it's something I'd noticed. Very very vertical loop he uses. Hmm. The index finger very very high. Let's have a look at it here. Yeah, didn't make the one in the side, which was the intended ball. And it's dry. And look at this. Yeah, everything Shot. is everything's just right there for the for the taking and with the straight in shot on the one to get started with. Yeah, two waiting, three nearby. It's looking ominous, but I believe. Didn't Stevie wonder and um, Paul McCartney do a song once about Max? Eberly and Ivory, wasn't it called? <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> and I love it. Might have heard inter introduction John Mora there, another great Canadian player, of course, from Toronto. Yep. Jeffrey DeLuna, Joshua Filler, that's a mouth watering match as well. <laughs> Hopefully they assigned them to one of our tables to record it. Yeah, fantastic Railbirds TV. With lots and lots of Derby City matches available. With plenty more coming, make sure you're subscribed. A oh, little bit of no man's land there. Yeah, that side pocket kind of in the way if you want to try to draw to the side rail and back out. Got to avoid that. Got to pocket the ball. Got to make sure you get close enough to the six to make it an easy shot. A lot going on here. Yeah, I think he might have to leave himself a longer six. Stun just this side of the side pocket. Yeah. 
Nicely done. Needs a big shot here though now. Low left on the cue ball. Yeah, even that nice, you know, the, the, even with that more powerful stroke there, he still used the open bridge. Yeah, the, the loop bridge tends to be an American thing, to be honest. I mean, there, of course, there are players from other countries that use it as well. But more often than not, Americans will choose that bridge when they're playing a power shot. Wow, what a game that was just introduced as well. Is Coming it? thick and fast, Jason Shaw fed a ghost. It was table six. Table six is not one of ours. I think that was a bad boys table. I think they snatched that match. Oh. Leaving up to their name. <laughs> yep. Actually, I don't think that was one of their tables. I think they had tables like three and nine or something like that. I don't think six was one of theirs. I think six was right out in the middle of the room. All right, nice break. He's got a shot on the one, on the two, I mean. He's got to dodge some traffic to get on the three. I don't think he can hold it. I think he's going to have to go back and forth with the cue ball. Yeah, it might even end up playing the three into the same pocket if he goes all the way around. I'm not sure how we can hold it. Might go into the... Can he go into the seven ball? Yeah, that's... Uh, tricky. Might even go three rails, you know. He's yeah. He's looking at looking at running into the seven. You called that. Yeah, I think you just try that. Try and go into the seven. If you miss it, you'd be very unlucky to stick yourself behind the six or the nine. So that's exactly where where I would end up if I tried it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> but he's hit that yeah. absolutely perfectly. Nice shot there, Alex. Yeah, that stems from his snooker background as well. Lots of little nudges and caroms and billiards you play in snooker. Little nudges here and there. he landed on this five and he run the cue ball through and leave the six into the other side pocket does it pass the seven looks like he's landed perfectly to uh, go to the rail and back out for the six in that bottom left corner i think mm. 
really does remind me of Alex Higgins so much. Alex Higgins played Moscone, of course, if you remember, with Jimmy White on the team. Steve Davis played Moscone as well. A few snooker players have made the switch. Tony Drago, very famous snooker and pool player from Malta. Yeah, I remember that uh, the earlier days of Moscone Cup. I remember the dreadful metallic arena. Hmm. Like the industrial, you know, the, the stainless steel kind of stuff. Looked dreadful. I was watching some of the old Moscone Cup matches. And it was funny watching them. Uh, they were smoking uh, at the table. They were uh, 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 waitress, waitress, waitresses were bringing them beers. <laughs> yeah. The good old days, I think, is the, what you mean. The good old days, <laughs> yep. So far, so good. Well, Alex Pagulai on 6 3 now. Alex hasn't been breaking too hard, been breaking very accurately. Guy on the table just behind, breaking off as well. Alex needs the extension on his cue just to put his score up. <laughs> Meanwhile, Adam Wheeler, who we've seen on our channel, he just reaches up with his hand and moves the beat across. Yeah, he's a big guy, isn't he? There's another one as well. Um, the uh, DeV, James DeV. Yep, another big guy. Yeah, James DeV. He's huge, isn't he? All right, looks like uh, players are on break, so we'll be right back. Oh, and they're back. back. And we're back. Yeah, I mentioned soft break. That really was soft. Made a ball though. He's got a look at the one. Safety. Thin off the one ball. Back down here behind the 9 3. Somewhere on this back rail. Be perfect. Is it going to get there? Does it have the speed? Looks perfect. Two rail kick. Or the side pocket, some left hand spin, catch the back rail, cue ball behind the eight. There you go, easy. All right, Max, you heard the man.
Well, that's just not as bad. effective. That could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. That's not bad. Yeah, it does Alex now thin off the left hand side of this as we look. And then bring that cue ball back round behind the nine, two, three, somewhere in that area. Could also play the cue ball over behind is it the four ball up on the top right? That is the four ball in the top right. Looks like he's going with option A. Yeah, I like this shot. I like this shot a lot. I like it a lot. Brilliant. I, I don't think Max is going to like it, though. Played to perfection. Very nicely done. Max has really been put under the screw here by Alex. He's come to the table hooked many times during this match. I think the moral of the story is don't get into a safety battle with a uh, one pocket player. Well, he got way into that. Ball in hand. I think it was ball in hand, wasn't it? Yeah, I couldn't tell. Max was in the way, but I, I think it was ball in hand. Yep. All right, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Good. I think it was too. Yeah. So just a, a dinky little draw shot here. Yeah, he wants to get out a little bit more towards the middle of the table so it's not as much of a cut on the two ball. Oh, he wanted to bump that five out. Nicely controlled. Just drag this in. From here, it's really just connect the dots, you know, three and four hanging in the pockets. Four to the five is automatic. Five to the seven doesn't appear to be much of a problem. You know, seven to the eight is probably the biggest problem, and it's not that big of a problem. Well, he hasn't played that great. He'd love that one again, but it's all right. Better there than straight. Actually ended up perfect. Yeah, it ended up perfect, didn't it? Just looked like it was going to stay closer to that rail, but it just bounced off nicely. Prime position here.
beginning to look very, very worrying now for Max Eberle. He's going to be four behind. Alex needs just two. Yeah, if you're Max, how do you slow down Alex? Alex has really done the number on him, hasn't he? I mean, he's played some great safety to keep Max quiet. Rarely has Mr. Eberly come to the table with a look at a ball. Yeah, I think that was probably the main difference this match is the safety play. All right, Alex with the break. One in the side and got kicked up table. Is he going to have a shot at the two? No, not really. He might have a look at it. I don't think he can see enough of it to cut it in the corner. And I don't think it goes past the six anyway. Yeah, but what he has got is the edge of it and he can get a good safety in here once again you see Max comes to the table no look at the ball Can he kick down here? Yeah, I was just going to say, can he kick down here near this corner pocket and kick the two-ball up table, leaving the cue ball behind the six? You know, he can, but if he catches it wrong, you know, the two-ball goes into the eight and leaves a shot in the side. It's He's got to hit this just right. Played it very well, and as he you has. said, Kevin got right in behind that six. Great shot! Yeah, he had to hit it just right, and he hit it just right. Very good shot, managed to avoid the eight with the two. That's what Alex looked like as a three year old look. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what he looks like as a 44-year-old. <laughs> yeah, well worth another look. Played to perfection. I think that's the best shot Max has played all match. Terrific shot. Great kick again, though, from Alex Pagulion. Got it safe. Yeah, even if he. Fortunate. Yeah, even if he goes for this bank shot, even if he makes the bank shot, you know, how you get into the three ball? Yeah, where'd you play safe? I don't know, maybe bank the uh, two ball near the 5-7 and uh, cue ball up table, leaving distance. Yeah, that's one option. Or he can bring the cue ball down behind the five, possibly. Looks like he's going with your option. Is he going to get there? Is he going to get there? Oh, almost. No, he's not. Unfortunately, he's left this perfect for Alex. It's a long shot, but if he makes it, he'll be on the three. 
Yeah, it just has to smooth this in. Alex having a little discussion off camera with the fans. This is a huge shot now. Make it. You win the rack. Oh, center Beautiful. of the pocket. Yeah, angle to work with as well. Really beautiful shot that was. Alex is not afraid to play for the side pockets, I see. He's played these angles a few times this match. That's why very confident into the sides, as you say. Doesn't want to be straight on this. Well, it's Might not straight. Short side, maybe. It's kind Number of seven. That it's kind of that awkward angle where uh, it's not enough angle to easily come across, but it's too much angle to play short side. A lot of inside spin to come down short side. Nicely done. He's got all the shots, hasn't he, Kevin? He does. Really do enjoy watching Paggy Lyon play. I love watching him play one pocket. That's where his true mastery really sh uh, shows. Was uh, Carlo Biardo at the Derby City this year? I don't believe he was. He had shoulder surgery, I believe. He was not there, no. Yeah, I think I read on Facebook that he was having shoulder surgery. But he's back playing now. Alex Pagelion on the hill, 8-3 versus Max Eberle. Well, we spoke earlier about the, the safety play of Alex, and it really has been a big factor in this. Even when Max got out of that hook, and hooked Alex back behind the six. Alex still got out of it and got safe off of it. He did give a little bit of and a hand Max. wave, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he he got lucky there, but, you know, he still got a good hit on the two ball. And then Max had a chance at playing a safety on the two behind the five. Didn't quite get there. And Alex ran the table. So that's the difference. Yeah. That's why I liked my safety. Even if you don't get them hooked, you uh not really selling much out. Going the way uh, Max did, you know, if you don't get behind the five, you're you're in you're in deep trouble. Yeah, 
Alex stroked that two up the rail. Drop perfect on the three. All right, he's made two balls on the break. Might be able to see the edge of this two, but not, not even entertaining looking at the two. He's just going to immediately push out. Oh, I'm going to tie yeah, up this tie four up five. The four five. Good idea. Oh, Max coming round to have a look at this, the potting angle. It may be worth having a go at. Cue ball coming back down and up the table again for the three. Yeah, if the he four plays five. The safety. Go ahead. The four five combination looks playable if you can uh, if you can if you can get you know past the two and the three if you can get there. If he chooses to play safe here, he could actually play the two down by the the four five as well, and hope that Max, uh, sorry, that Alex. Yeah. So Max has passed the back to Alex. Up. Yeah. Yeah, I like this shot. Oh, oh he's look missed at that the cue note. ball. Clever though. Try to break out the four and five as well. I thought that was the shot. Got so close to it as well, Kevin. Yeah, just missed it by a hair. What a nice cue ball, though. All right, ball in hand for Alex. Again. Yeah, once again, the safety proving. Now, is he thinking of coming off the side rail here, break out the four and the, the five and leave himself the long three? Needs a bit of luck. Bump the nine. I think he's oh, okay. Oh, has he come past it? I think he's okay. Yeah, even Ralph first, he can go if he has to. Very intelligent shot, that. Getting to this four, not easy though. Got a lot of traffic to dodge. Oh, that was a real first draw shot. What a shot. I want to see that one again. Real first draw with spin. Yeah, brilliant. What a shot. And then just play safe. <laughs> Didn't quite get the position he wanted. Now I guess this this is one of those shots that might be jumpable with you playing cute. Just the edge of the nine in the way, I think. There might even be a window there. We can come off the edge of the four, bring the cue ball back down underneath this five, seven, nine. It's hard to tell exactly if he has that window or not. No, he did go with the jump. Well, managed huh? to get it safe, but he's going to be in trouble here. Well, at least he didn't Ball leave a straight in balls. shot, you know, one inning at a time. <laughs> yeah. Easy safety, though. Big target behind the 957. Wow, and look at that. Whoopsie. 
It's the first real mistake you've seen from Alex. Yeah, I must admit, I'm surprised he took that on, to be honest. Don't be surprised if he kicks it in. Ooh, Oof. <laughs> darn near. Oh, wait. Oh, he had two chances at it. <laughs> Threaten both side pockets there. Right, I thought I just saw Max go walking by. So I think the players really are taking a break this time. So, all right. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Yeah, I think Max goes for this in the top left-hand corner. Absolutely. Not an easy shot. You got to come with a shot, but I think you absolutely go for this. Might even leave the seven into the right-hand side pocket. Or is he going straight across? Or he's going all out for this. No safety in mind here. I kind of like coming across Kevin behind the nine. He's going high, though. Yeah, I'll just go uh, high, you know, just, you know, touch of inside, back and forth a couple times. Just like that. That gives you the best done. chance. Gives you the best chance of making the five, and you figure to have a shot on the seven. I think he could just draw straight back off this. Yeah, I think he has to. So let's see how his speed control is. We saw Alex is pretty good. Let's see if Max has that same touch. How's that? That's not bad. If he can reach it. Oh, yeah, he can reach it. Still alive. Gets one back. Five, uh, eight four. Race to nine. Still a long way back, though, for Max. Alex on the hill. And Max's break hasn't been great, to be honest. Now he's changing the break up here. Look, he's going almost central. Interesting. Let's see if that uh, works out. All right, hit him nice and solid. Did he make one? No. I mean, breaking from there, you need to be very lucky to make a ball. Yeah, it's just really hard to make a ball when breaking down the middle with, with the nine on the spot. Oh, he's tied up that 5-7. Uh, 
Whoopsie. Yeah, the only good thing, though, the four is nice and close to it. Yeah, he's going to have to use it. So we see the spot where he wants to put that where he wants to put that cue ball. Let's see how close he actually gets to it. Eh, half a diamond off. Keep practicing, Alex. What kind of angle has he got? Can he? Run this cue ball through. Can he pinch a bit of the pocket and maybe just try and clip the five ball out? It's hard to tell. It looks like he's going to be going to that left side rail and then come into the five off the rail. Oh, wow. Whoa. I think he just clipped it, didn't he? I think he missed it entirely. I don't think he touched it. Not, nice safety available now, though. Meant to hit it thin, not that thin. All right, just the chance Max needs. Does that five-seven combination go, or is, it, or is Max going to be forced to play safe? Well, he's looking at it. If not, he has got. An easy safety, like a lot yeah, easier than the one Alex just <laughs> attempted. He could basically try this. He could try the safety that Alex attempted, except, you know, the cue ball a little bit closer. Looks like he's lining up the combination. I think this, uh, I think it's a little bit of a cut on the seven, which means I think his five ball is going to go flying a bit. Unless I'm seeing it wrong, but I think we're going to see a lot of movement on the five. Yeah, we are seeing a lot of movement on the five. Counting on luck a Played little bit. Well. Played it nice. And has got a nice result out of that. Slightly the wrong side, but I can just run this in. It'll bounce off the side rail. Yeah, he even as the angle, he could come three rails at the eight if he wants to. Hmm. Need a bounce. Need a bounce. This is a tricky little one with your opponent on the hill, isn't it? Yeah, you got to put that out of your head.
can't think about how many games you need to win or that your opponent's on the hill. All you can think about is, well, I just got to win this game. And the next game, well, I just got to win this game. Yeah, one at a time. Yep. Nicely done, Max. Staying alive. 8-5, race to 9. Yeah, they're, they're intriguing racks, to be honest. I mean, we've had a few, a couple of break and runs, haven't we? But there's been some to and fro's with safeties. and Yeah, Alex started off with two... You know, two breaking runs in a row. Thought uh, thought he was setting the tone for the set, but then that was we didn't see a, we haven't seen a lot of breaking runs since then. Remember, guys, lots and lots of matches on Railbirds. Go check it out. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell, and then you'll get notifications. I love that when I'm laying in my bed at night and <laughs> wondering what to watch. I'm, you know, I've watched a bit of Netflix, and I think, oh, I fancy a bit of pool now. And all of a sudden, something pops up on my notifications, and that's another two or three hours I'm up at night. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> All right, so Max changed up his break again. A little bit more success with this one. Made the one on the side. He's got a good look at this, too. Everything is spread out nice and open. Good chance here for Max. Yeah, and I like that approach by Max. He's, you know, hasn't been afraid to change it up. A lot of the times you'll see the players sticking with the same break, hoping for a different result. But Max has tried three different positions, which is good. He's the karma suitor of the pool world. <laughs> How'd I know you were going there? <laughs> nice shot. That was a a little bit of inside spin to straighten up that cue ball. Perfect speed. Nicely done. Max shooting with a bit more confidence now. A little bit more pep in his step as he's walking around the table. Guessing Efren has just won another rack or the match on <laughs> the feature table. How can you tell? <laughs> it's either Efren or SVB, but I know SVB isn't on the table, so <laughs> I'm guessing it's Efren. Just get off that nine. Get away from the nine. Okay, good. Nicely done.
It's going to come around three rails, nine on the side. And nice. Is this the first break and run for Max this set? It is. And what a time to do it as well. Yeah, he needs them now. <laughs> and a couple more. And then a nine on the break. Ooh. Nerves of steel there. <laughs> yeah, touchy one. Eight six. He's sneaking up. I've a I've actually just remembered another little rule that we haven't mentioned, and it's not one that comes up very often, if it ever has at all, <laughs> where if your opponent breaks and runs nine in a row and you don't get a shot, what happens? You get the chance again yourself, right? Yeah, if your opponent breaks and runs, you know, the nine racks on you where you never get to the table, uh, you are given the opportunity to try to do the same yourself. And if you can do that also then you relag and it's all decided on one game I don't know that that's ever come up but that is a rule at Derby City He's made a ball on the break. He can see part of the one ball. And I smell a safety coming up. All right. Where are we playing safe? Well, I'm wondering, do you play the bank on the one in the side, the cross bank, bring the cue ball down here? Or do you go all out safety? I'd probably be looking for safety. Yeah, your opponent's on the hill. You've got to be careful, haven't you? Probably not the time to go for a hero shot when your opponent's on the hill. Especially if it's not necessary. Yeah. Is he going to leave a window? Oh, no. He's left a window. Disaster. Yeah, that's my argument. That's my argument. When when the safety is as difficult as the... You know, when you've got a two-way option as well, it might have right. been a time to go for the two-way option. All right. Alex was on break. Here we are. Yeah, good time to take a break as well for Alex because he's lost his way in the last few racks. Yeah, you come back to the table, refreshed, with a look, look, looking at a run out to win you the set. Now, do you try to uh, just hold this cue ball, or is there too much angle? Is he going to end up behind the five if you try to hold it? Yeah, he's got to use a row. It's whether he goes round the back of the seven. Just one of those, isn't it? Yeah, he's not liking it. It's too much angle to hold, but not enough angle to easily come around. I'm just wondering if you can just draw it out into the center of the table. That might be an option. Yeah, just draw right between that 5-6. Yeah. It's probably his best option. 
Unless he can follow to the end rail and then up between the five six, that might be an option. Well, let's see what let's see what he does. Oh, he put the big stroke on it. Nicely done. That but could the, be the match winner. That was a great shot. Yeah, I think that shot right there just won him this set. It just that's okay. Yeah, I thought he had a little bit of angle. I didn't know I didn't realize he had that much angle. <laughs> Handled it though. Five to the side. Yeah, a lot of players like to avoid the side pockets like the plague. A lot of players would have drawn back to the middle of the table for the five in the corner there. But yeah, Alex is not afraid of side pockets. Yeah, I think it comes from his snooker background as well. That could be. Side, side pockets, of course, come into play a lot in snooker. Yep. especially with the blue on the centre spot, of course, and it's a big ball that they use to get position on the next reds. He's a key ball, often played into the sides. These two balls for the match. And what a match it has been. We had highs, we had lows, we had drama. But it looks like Alex is going to come out on top. Nine six, Alex over Max. This was a round nine match. Neither player had a loss. Max Eberle is still alive if he wants to use the uh, um, if he wants to use his buyback. Let's see. Uh, I, okay, Max confused me for a second there. It's like I thought. Uh, wait, did I lose track of the score? But no, Max is just want to do some practicing of breaking. Uh, anyway, I am uh, Kevin Ross, Ross along with Mark White. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to uh, be subscribed. Don't miss a match and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you guys.